Hello, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm doing the bedroom area of a studio apartment. So the first piece of furniture I'll be adding to this space is the bed. I started with a regular queen size bed but changed it because there was so little space left for anything you could barely walk around the bed. And seeing that it's such a small space, storage is necessary. You can really never have too much of it. There is a small closet in the hallway and a decent sized closet in this area. But we all like having lots of stuff. So we need neat and tidy places to keep these things. So you know, more storage. So I'm creating built-ins on either side of and above the bed with both closed and open storage as well as two small shelves above the bed to put all the little pretty things that you want to keep on display and don't worry these won't be green I'm going to do them in white but this is just the default color of the cabinet because this is what I will be using in the kitchen which you will see probably in the next video that I upload I only wanted the cabinet above the bed to be a few inches tall, tall enough to hold stuff but not enough to bump your head on there. There's that color I was talking about, it looks so much better in white. I feel like the green looked dark and made the space look smaller, so white turned out better. And for the shelves, I went with 2 inch floating shelves in a staggered pattern because that just for some reason is aesthetically better. So with all the white and light colors in this area, I decided to leave the shelves in a natural wood tone, you know, to add some more. It's always needed. And now, it's a day bed. Because who doesn't need the comfort of a regular sized bed, but with space to walk around? It's necessary. Plus, this has drawers at the base of it, so remember what I said about storage. I will have to move the built-ins over a little to fit the width of this day bed, but it's worth it. And this is a studio apartment, so you can steal a little space from another room, it's fine. Seeing as this is all open space, it is a studio apartment. You won't see a little bit of borrowed space. Now that I'm done with the bed area, well for the most part, I'm moving on to the opposite wall where I'm setting up a desk and storage area.
you'll see that I changed the color of the mirror frame to match the shelves because I want to keep the wood tones consistent. Also, I added a piece of wall art above the closet because you see this directly from the living room and it would give you something to look at other than the doors. Also, I made the color of the wall behind the bed a darker blue. It looks more interesting at depth behind the white cabinets. I'm on to the more decorative items now, such as the plants, because their colors seem to just brighten the room. Before adding a striped carpet to the space between the bed and the vanity. I needed one large enough to take up some amount of space but not the entire area because it would look weird. This one was perfect. So I'm adding a few cushions and pillows to the daybed. I always see them on the internet and they have this vast amount of cushions and pillows everywhere. It looks really comfortable. I'm not showing the process of me doing that because it took way too long. But I like the way it turned out though. Also, as you can see, I added a clock and some books to the shelf above the bed. Funny how small things like that can make a room look like someone actually lives there. I really really like this. I think it's all coming together now with all the colors of the bed and the book, the candles minus the carpet. I'm going to change that. I'm adding a picture frame with an actual picture in it above the mirror there because there's a lot of open space. And adding the stool for the vanity, changing the color so it matches the whole aesthetic of the room. Adding a small mirror on the side, one of those mini makeup mirrors that you use for close-ups to get your eyeshadow right or something. It all looks nice now and I, I'm kind of proud of this. I don't normally do bedrooms and anything except a kitchen or a bathroom because those are my favorite. But I like this. It's a good challenge out of my comfort zone and I'm happy I did this. So if you didn't already notice, I only do videos in the program. I really hope to do more than this in the future. I really want to do a lot more actual projects and video that. Hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. If all works out well. But this is it for now. I really like how this turned out. Please like and tell me what you think of it in the comment section. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!